i7, 12 gigabytes of RAM, one terabyte, Windows 10. That's actually some pretty good specs right there. That may be lacking though. Oh damn. Damn, didn't notice you there. How are you doing? <laughs> wow. Oh yes. Comments for life, dude. In the work environment too. Magnificent fall. There she blows, mother trucker, and over here. <laughs> all right so i'm trying to find my way back ended up in this uh well you know this what do you what should i call it suburban area just being developed here usually you can find some pretty cool off-roading spots but as of right now i'm just trying to find my way out of here and it looks like i'm lost all right we just made it here to the spot I was gonna go way over there in the parking lot but there's some kind of big event going on so I don't want to don't want all that no background noise in the background whatever so I'm here with the Silverado right here for the new viewers this is my 2013 1500 Silverado it's a Z71 package but of course I stripped all the badging and everything off so you can't really tell so realistically this is the upshift package everything done to a color match bumpers badge delete Big tires, custom rims, lift kit. That's the upshift package <laughs> right there. Or the YouTube package, whatever you want to call it. It is such a nice truck, man. I'm telling you, I've taken this on trips to the beach where for me it's like at least five hours to get to one. I've taken it off road and through really rocky areas. I've taken it through mud, believe it or not. I've really cleaned it out though. And I've also gotten it stuck in the snow way up on top of a mountain and it had to be been floored so many times to get out of there. It was awful. I've taken this truck so many different places. I've put it through so much. And fortunately, it's still fine. It's not giving me any issues. It's not a money pit at all by any means. Of course, the gas mileage is down with these big tires, but they're still only 33s. Honestly, when you get it rolling, it's going to keep rolling and... It's such a reliable truck. I don't know whether I got lucky with getting a truck that's so reliable or a 1500 Silverado is just that good of a truck. There are a lot of you Chevy guys are going to say every every Chevy truck is amazing and lasts forever and doesn't give you issues. Well, here's a perfect example if you guys are on that boat and I love this truck so much I wouldn't I wouldn't give it up, man. It's just uh Oh man, it's it's come so far. It's come so far. It had chrome bumpers, went to black bumpers. I had I had chrome wheels on it before. I've now color matched it. I put fog lights on it. It had different mirrors before, and you don't you don't even want to know how many cans of paint I probably put through this truck. I probably put about at least 30 cans of paint on the underneath. With that being said, I did take this truck to CarMax because I was curious of what this truck would go for. Obviously, they have they have no idea of the story or the potential this truck really has to not give anyone any issues and to drive to a million miles. So of course the price they give does not consider any of that. And it's just a basis of what this truck is here to this day. They took note of the damages to the truck, although the truck has no accidents reported, which is odd. It does have damage reported on Carfax, but on auto check, it doesn't show anything. So that's the truth there. But yeah, other than that, they noticed that the tires and rims are different aftermarket anything aftermarket makes the value go down for them they even said the tires need to be replaced L look at these tires i literally just put these on what a few weeks ago they have all the tread you can think of it's so much tread there they said they need to be replaced because they're just too big they don't sell trucks like these like this they don't sell aftermarket stuff like that so that is why those would need to be replaced So that reason right there in itself is a reason why taking up the offer at CarMax for an aftermarket model vehicle is not the right idea. But let's go and get that price. I got it right up there on the windshield. 
let me know when you're ready. In my hand right here, I have the appraisal. But before I show you guys, leave a comment below in the comments of what you think the appraisal is for this truck. Okay, so here I'm going to reveal it in three, two, one. $17,000. That's all I'll get for the truck. After noting everything else, that is the offer for the truck. Now, I know that this truck isn't the newest truck out there, but still, it should go for a little bit more than that, I'd say. Plus, I mean, if you find the right buyer with all this stuff, you should be able to get a good price. So now I'm honestly curious as to what this vehicle would actually go for if it didn't have any of the modifications, if it didn't have to get damage repaired. Wonder what it would go for. The truck literally has only 64,000 on it to this day. So if I were to ever give away my truck here, my first truck that I've ever had and everything that we've both went through with this truck, <laughs> I don't. I would never give it away, but I would not take it to CarMax for that price. That is way too low. I'd find the right buyer. But yeah, that truck, man, it's 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 too good to give away. Come on, let's be honest here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you love trucks as much as I do, hit that subscribe button. Have a nice day.